All right, you guys. Thank you for clicking on the video today. Um, as you can probably already tell, I'm already sweaty and dirty, so. Um, and my workspace is all dirty as well. I just finished installing the uh, RCM uh, cam pulleys and as, as well as the oil pump shim. So I put the radiator back in, um, but it's empty. Everything's empty. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you guys how to do a proper uh, coolant system bleed on a Subaru. Uh, it's different from a lot of other cars, um, but if you have the right equipment, it is pretty easy. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the one tool you're going to... Well, so the one tool you're going to need is some sort of no spill coolant filling funnel. Um, this one I got off Amazon. I can link it in the description below. You can get these at AutoZone. You can get them pretty much anywhere. And they come with this funnel thing and a bag of adapters and O-rings and caps and stuff. So basically what you do is out of all this assortment of stuff in there, you find the cap that matches the one on your car the fitting that goes into the hole and this o-ring is supposed to go up here but it doesn't really work with this one so i put it down here and it works fine um some of these have a valve like this one and then some of them have like a stopper that you just stick in there uh, but i think the valve will probably work better so i got that one but uh yeah so get yourself one of these they're really useful even for doing coolant on other cars but it's very important for this application as some of you probably know, for, uh, are you supposed to fill the coolant from the highest point of the cooling system? And in most cars, that would be the radiator cap is the highest point. But in a Subaru, if you take a look here, there's the radiator cap, and right over there is the coolant reservoir for the turbo the expansion tank. This is the highest part in the cooling system. So this is where you have to fill your coolant from. So since the uh, coolant reservoir for the turbo is the highest point in the coolant system, that is where this funnel is going to go. So this just goes on like this, and you tighten the cap, and that's it. Okay, so I'm going to pre-fill the radiator. Okay, so now the uh, radiator's pre-filled. I'm going to fill up this funnel on here, and we hope it doesn't leak. I'm gonna fill it up. Let's see. I'll go to the one and a half liter mark for now. Right there. Fill it up there, and then I'll put this cap on there just so the coolant doesn't splash back up. Well, I guess I could open this up now. So open the valve. So the coolant's draining in. I'm gonna put this cap on just so it doesn't come out. We're gonna have to refill that. Okay, and that goes in. Okay, so cap on the radiator's on. Uh, cooling reservoir should be empty. Um, and then this stopped bubbling. So that means this is full and these lines are full. Um, I could try burping these. So you can see when I squeeze, 
Good bubbles over there. So that's getting out some of the bubbles. Same thing with this hose. Okay, so now I'm gonna top that off and I'm gonna start the car. starts bubbling again so we're gonna let it run until it stops bubbling I'm also I rolled the windows down because it's hundred degrees out today I'm also going to turn the heater on because there's air bubbles in the heater okay so we're gonna have the heater running to get the air bubbles out of the heater too I'm gonna let that go once this is done uh, but I'm just gonna monitor this and keep popping it off until uh, it stops bubbling okay so the car is pretty much at operating temperatures you can still see it's bubbling a little bit um, and a little bit's going in so we're gonna keep doing this um, um, that might <laughs> hopefully that doesn't mean I have blow by in my cooling system I don't think I do so we're just going to keep it going until the bubbles disappear. And if the bubbles don't disappear, then we have a bigger issue. But Okay, look at the... Uh, I'm going to rev it up a little bit. Look at the bubbles come out. So I think that helps the, the water pump circulate the air bubbles out. significantly slowed down after the fans turned on it sucked in some more so I think that means the thermostat kicked on and started circulating it more yeah so it's not really bubbling all that much anymore maybe one or two every once in a while so I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna try to get to suck in the rest of those that little bit so it doesn't make a mess when I'm pulling it off um, then we should be good to go so now, hopefully without making a mess or burning myself, I can remove this. So I'm going to keep my eye on the coolant levels for the next few days just to make sure everything's good. Um, this should stay uh, accurate, but uh, it's good to just double check it. So that was just a little quick video there. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you. Hopefully now you can get your coolant system bled properly. So I do lots of videos with this Subaru. So if you're interested in seeing other things, go check out my channel and uh, subscribe so you get notified when I make out new videos. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like down below. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. If you aren't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And if you know somebody who this video might help out, please share it with them. Uh, as always, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one. Peace.